All right, today we have a new golf cart battery from Bobka. All right, so this is a 48 volt, 105 amp hour lithium iron phosphate golf cart battery kit. So it actually comes with the charger. It has some four gauge, 200 Celsius uh, silicone jacketed wires. It has a remote display uh, so you can monitor state of charge and power usage of the battery. And it has a little bracket for that screen uh, where you could mount it somewhere on the dash of your cart. And the one thing that's kind of neat about this one is it's it's like a mini golf cart battery because it's it's a uh, smaller, it's, it's actually square. Most of these that come in this metal container like this are kind of rectangular. So that's pretty neat. I like the, the size of it. All right, so let's see if we can get a weight on this. And we've got 92.8 pounds. All right, so I've got their charger hooked up. Let's get this battery charged. All right, so the charger's now on. We should be charging. All right, guys, so the battery is fully charged. And I've also hooked up their screen so we can see that we are 100% charged there. Showing that we have 105 amp hours. I like these little screens. This this is really handy because you can see uh, each individual cell voltage, uh, little stats here, and then your state of charge, and then some other stats there. But let's go ahead and do a capacity test. And I've got my shunt hooked up, and I've got it set to 105 amp hours. Uh, I've got the inverter here, and I've got this heater that will be used as a load. So let's go ahead and turn on the inverter, and that should start to test. Okay, so we are pulling a little bit over a 1,000 watts, uh, about 20 amps. Yeah, we got some nice warmth coming out of the heater right now. <laughs> let's take a look at our little screen here. There we go. We're showing 19.35 amps coming out. It's saying it's going to take about 5 hours and 23 minutes. Uh, so we'll just let that thing continue on and I'll be back. Okay, so the test is uh, still running. Uh, this shunt here is saying 13%. Now that noise that you're hearing is coming from this inverter. I'm not sure what it's doing. I think it's the fan. That's what it sounds like. Weird. Anyways, try to ignore that if you can. <laughs> now it's screen, the battery screen says 7% left. Uh, I also downloaded their battery app, which I do like. It's uh, very slick. There we go. I like the interface, it looks nice. And uh, oh, it's saying 7% there as well. Shows our discharging current, our wattage, our battery voltage. Well, that thing says remaining capacity, but I think that's the total capacity actually. Shows our discharging time, so it looks like we've got 20 minutes left to go. And it has our cell data here. There we go. There's our individual cell voltages. So yeah, I like this app. It's pretty, it's pretty slick. All right, well, I'll just let it keep on going and we'll see what we get to. <laughs> it sounds like a digital turkey. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are down to 2%. Uh, we have 2.9 
amp hours left to go. Our lowest cell is at 2.934 volts. I looked in a different app that shows more information and this battery is set to uh, low cell protect at 2.7 uh, volts. So if any one of these go to 2.7 it is going to shut down. Uh, but it seems to be holding at the moment. Now we're down to 1% left. We got 1.4 six amp hours left to go. Uh, however, our cell nine right here is at 2.84. Will it let us get there? We got just a half amp hour left to go. And this cell nine is at 276. So will it let us hold on? <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Okay, here we go. Zero, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so we have discharged a full 105 amp hours. So the battery does in fact make 105 amp hours. And I think it's about to shut down. And there it went. <laughs> it made exactly 105. Interesting. All right, so let's get this thing open. Oh, okay. So the top part just comes off completely. Here's our BMS. And it is a JBD. JBD DH24SA01 BMS. It actually says 150 amps on it. Okay, so I looked at the Amazon listing and it does advertise as 150 amp BMS. Uh, so that's correct. Okay, so we've got Looks like six gauge, 200 Celsius silicon jacketed wiring uh, for the negative. And then we've got a single that might be a four gauge. It feels a little bit thicker. I'm not sure what that is uh, on the positive. Yeah, I can't really tell what it is but it feels a little thicker uh, than the six gauge over here but it's also silicone jacketed there's these screws here that have these brackets that go all the way across and those are what's holding the cells down and then this BMS bracket here is mounted on top of those rails here uh, with this piece of epoxy board in between. I wonder if I can unscrew these and lift something up. Yeah, they definitely put all this, this red goop on all the screws. Uh, presumably, uh, they're anticipating this thing is going to be rattling. Uh, or in a vibration environment. Uh, so this uh, could help keep these screws from backing out. Okay, so we can kind of lift this up. All right, so I can see the tops of the cells right there. Let me see if I can get a scan on them. Okay, we got a scan, and check it out. We have EVE cells, EVE, lithium iron phosphate, LF-105s, so 105 amp hour cells, uh, 300 
and 36 watt hour per cell. Very good. So these are good cells. All right, I did find a thermal sensor here, so we'll check to see if we've got low temperature charging protection. Okay, so I got the charger hooked back up. We are putting in uh, 16 and a half amps at the moment. So let's see if this will stop. Yes, it did. So now we're putting in zero and the charger went off. All right, uh, so we've got real Eve cells. We've got a fairly decent build quality here. Looks pretty good. And we do have separation material between the cells. I can barely see it down in there, but it is there. Um, we've got little uh, separation. We got uh, insulation material on the sides and all the way around the battery. I think that's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'll leave links down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.